Welcome let's start by going to text title, drag down default title, click then go to advance. Delete the text then go up to select a line shape, change its color to white then increase its border to 30. Now go up to change its rotation to 90 and scale up to 60 as shown. Further take a PNG snapshot. Delete the text title on the timeline, add a video track then drag down a picture on track 2. Further right click to crop to fit then go up to click the crop icon above. Now select the 16 to 9 aspect ratio, go up to click pan and zoom, adjust the grid as shown then click the switch icon at the bottom right and apply. Next, go up to effect to search and apply vintage frame overlay 02 effect as shown. Click then go up to mask, select linear mask, scroll down to tick invert mask. So, go up to apply keyframe to position then type 983 in position X. Now move the playhead to the end then go up to apply keyframe and add just minus to 983 as shown then preview. Again, add a video track then go up to drag the line shape snapshot created earlier. Click the snapshot then go up to basic image, apply keyframe to transform, then go to position X to type 1000. Further click the second keyframe of the bottom picture then click the snapshot above and go up to apply keyframe then go to position X to only add minus to 1000 and preview. Highlight both, right click to copy, move the playhead to the head, click track 2 then paste beside. Further click the first keyframe of the pasted picture, go up to mask then scroll down to position X and add minus to 983. Also, go to the second keyframe, go up to position X for mask to remove minus from 983. Again click the first keyframe for the snapshot above, then go up to basic image to add minus to 1000 in position X. Also, click the second keyframe then go up to remove minus from 1000 in position X. Now highlight both, right click to copy and paste beside as shown. Now, press and hold the Alt key as you drag down another pictures to change the ones on the timeline as shown. Further highlight each pair then right click to apply compound clip as shown. Afterward click each compound clip then go up to scale down to 60 as shown. Again click each compound clip the go up then scroll down to apply drop shadow to each clip as shown. Now click only the second and third clip then go up to rotate to type 5 and minus 5 respectively. So go up to transition, then apply search and apply ripple transition in between the clips as shown to reduce the duration to 10 seconds and apply it to all. So let preview. Further drag down a picture background on track 1, right click to crop to fit if necessary then extend to match the duration above. Next, go up to effect, scroll down to new blue FX, under stylizer. Scroll to rolling wave then drag down as shown. So click then go up to select pond water then change the amplitude to 15, frequency to 20, speed to 10 and shading to 20 then click OK. Again go back to effect, search and drag down zoom bounce effect then leave its speed at 50 as shown. Lastly go back to effect to search and drag down apple effect, extend then click to reduce its opacity to 30 as shown. Thanks for watching, the template link for this tutorial with multiple pictures is in the description, have a great day.